this is David. In this video, we are going to talk about how to use Copilot for Microsoft 365 within Microsoft Outlook to manage our emails. Has anyone ever forwarded to you a long email thread that you had to spend a lot of time reading through to understand what the questions they were asking, what has been said before, and what was the context of everything that was going on? Copilot can help with that. This is my email inbox in Outlook, uh, and I'm going to open up this thread right here. Um, this happens to be a thread that I created, but it's pretty long, as you can see right here. As I scroll down, a lot of information in here. This is a conversation between me and my friend Scott uh, because I was inviting him to be on my other show. I have another show called Technology and Friends. You can reach it at technologyandfriends.com. And on that show, I interviewed smart people about topics that are of interest to technologists. So I invited Scott to be on the show. We had some back and forth about what the topic should be. We had some conversation before the show, you know, scheduling and so on. And then uh, we also had some conversation after we recorded uh, about the fact that it's up there now and can uh, take a look at it and thanking him for being on it, things like that. So a bunch of information that spanned several weeks. Uh, I could read through this whole thing, or I could just click this button right here, summarize. And when I do that, then I get an information. Scott, thank Dave for the link. Dave's current, Dave, this, discuss scheduling. Um, Initial introduction, this is actually in reverse chronological order because that's the way this thread is coming in out. But the initial introduction, facilitated by Cameron, et cetera. And so I've got some information here about the email thread without having to read through the whole thing, just highlights and bullet points. That could save me a whole lot of time. Now, this is really useful for threads, email threads that already exist. Copilot for M365 in Outlook has other tools that will help you generate your own emails and modify them. So if I wanted to generate a new email, of course, I click on the new email button. It brings up this blank thing here. And I have a button up in the toolbar. If I have Copilot installed and I'm subscribing to it, then I can click on this Copilot on the message ribbon. And under the drop down menu, I'll select Draft with Copilot. And when I draft with Copilot, I can type in a, a, uh, a description of the email that I want to send. Like write an email to John at the customer to explain that our delivery, delivery will be late because our supplier's shipment of raw materials is late. Be professional and apologetic. Assure him that he should expect delivery by the end of this month, but do not promise that. Uh, the more specific I can get in this prompt, the better job Copilot will do in generating an email draft. I'll click on generate right here. It'll create a draft that matches what I've asked it. And I'm writing to inform you that it's been a slight delay, blah, 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 blah. And maybe I like it. Maybe I, I, I wanna see something better. I can click on regenerate. It'll use the same criteria, the same prompt and generate a second one. And I could go back and forth between the two, or I can even change the criteria by clicking this adjust button, make it longer, make it shorter, shorter, make it sound more formal, more direct, more casual. I could even make it a poem, although I don't think that's really appropriate in this case. But if I want to click on make it longer, then it'll take the same information to, to, to talk about, uh, you know, we're going to be late because the supplier was late, just make it a little bit longer thing right here. Um, and uh, if I don't, uh, here I can move, I've asked it to do it three times, and whichever one I like the best, I can keep it. If I don't like any of them, I'll just click discard, it'll go away. But click on keep, and now it, it copies all of that into my email right here. It doesn't send it yet. I still have an opportunity to edit it if I want to, um, based on, you know, whatever my feelings are. You know, maybe it, it did its purpose. Because remember, it's not a pilot, it is a co-pilot. You are still the pilot. It's not an autopilot for you. It is a co-pilot. You are still in charge and you are still responsible for everything that's in this email when you hit send. You cannot really blame co-pilot for drafting a bad email. You really should read this before you're done. Uh, so that's drafting a new email. Um, if you've had a, an email that either you've typed up or that the, 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 in this case, Copilot is generated for you. Copilot has one more feature inside of Outlook. On the Copilot button on the ribbon, 
there's coaching by Copilot. And if I click on that, then it'll generate feedback about this email right here. And you can see it's broken up into these categories, tone, reader sentiment, and clarity. Under tone, it does talk about how this tone email is respectful and apologetic, which is good for maintaining good customer, blah, blah, blah. But there are some suggestions here. Instead of, I would like to offer my sincerest apologies, consider I sincerely apologize. It's more direct and personal. Uh, add a positive note by saying we are confident that we will resolve this quickly to show assurance uh, on the tone. Under reader sentiment, uh, begin the email with a thank you. Thank you for your patience. Add your support means a lot to us to express gratitude. Under clarity, replace, unfortunately, we've encountered unexpected delay, etc. cetera. Uh, we have a delay due to raw materials. It's uh, more concise right here. Um, if you have further questions, uh, or concerns. So if, add, instead of if you have any further questions, add for any questions or concerns. Just more about conciseness in this. So there's some suggestions that I may or may not take, but there are they're good things right here. There are buttons down at the bottom of this, by the way, just to say, yeah, this is pretty good, or boy, that's really terrible. What, uh, this is feedback that the engine for Copilot will take into account. If it's if it thinks that it's doing a poor, if many people are clicking thumbs down, it'll refine how it's responding to these prompts. So in this video, I've shown you how to use Copilot for M365 within Microsoft Outlook to generate a new draft email, summarize a, an existing email thread, and provide some feedback to improve, to potentially improve an existing email draft. This is David. Thank you for watching. Yeah.